Hello? Wake up. Push off. Twist on. Hmm. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh. Oh. All right. Cool. Hello. Today we're painting this car. Cool. Let's get to work. Are you helping me today? I am. I am. I need to scuff a few things where we pulled the glass and then go through and mask the entire car. And I don't know if we're gonna paint today. We're either painting tonight or we're painting tomorrow, which is Sunday. So I'm excited to finally get this project done and out of my life once, of and, life once and for all. It's really nice coming to do this at a paint shop because they have all the cool stuff like this. This is really handy. Of course, this nice booth is really handy and we're gonna lay out the best paint job y'all have ever seen in your life. I'm not gonna do it. Bobby's father is gonna do it with me. Yes. He's gonna show me how to paint good. So we never have problems ever again. Just kidding, we always will. What's going on? Taking shit off so the shit don't land in our nice paint job. All this right here, Bobby, you see? Junk. So what we're doing is we're actually leaving this, this is the glue for the rear glass. We're gonna leave that in, paint the car. When we go to put the glass back in, all you gotta do is cut that off and you got a nice clean surface and you're good to go. All right, we got everything cleaned out by where the windows were sitting. Bobby's going through and cleaning up all the jams and I'm gonna go through and fill all these tiny little chips. So there's a couple on the car that look like that. These are already filled. They showed you how to do it yesterday on this pillar. So any tiny little defect like that, we're going through with this plastic body filler and apparently that's the best method to fill those tiny little chips. I didn't even know you could see them through paint but they said you could. So we got the car back in the booth after we fixed all of the little issues with it. And now I need to go through and mask the entire car. I've never done a complete like this before. So we'll see what I can figure out as far as masking goes. They showed me the ropes yesterday, so I'm gonna wing it. Enjoy this time lapse of me struggling. All right, a couple hours later, the car is fully masked off and ready for some paint. We've been having some problems, as always, here and there. Nothing that we can't solve, just some fisheye stuff. So Bob is wanting to spray all the base by himself, which is fine. And then we're gonna, we're gonna tag team it with clear. Don't roast Bob in the comments. He likes to spray with no mask. But here she is getting sprayed. You happy, honey? Am I happy? Yep. I'm so excited. I wish there was something I could do. Go paint. I wish I could paint, but it's really interesting watching you guys in there. Yes. So we are all finished up with the base coat. Here's all the pieces that are off the car. And this color is going to look absolutely beautiful. So many parts. And then over in the other booth, the real booth, we have of course the car. We're both going to be spraying clear at the same time. I'm doing the passenger side and Bob is doing the driver's side. Can't wait for the driver's side to look 10,000 times better. Oh, that looks real smooth. Oh, that's a big bad one. You want it that big? I came around a little bit.
your first coat of clear is going to look like your last coat of clear. Okay. You set your texture. Yeah. It's a big run. Huh? Big run. First coat is laid down and I must show you guys the best run I've ever got in my life. That's a big old boy. We're doing three coats on the car, two, car two coats on all the parts in the other booth and we're done. Pull, Bobby, pull. Oh, that would be easier than last time. You're bringing in dirt. I know. I just have to show her the color. That looks so Holy good. Holy shit. You like that I do. I really like that. Yeah, that's all right. Let's change color. Big set goes all finished up on the car. Let's go turn on the booth. How do I turn it on? Mm -mm -mm. That is quite exquisite, quite gold. This is one thing I need to buy. This light right here shows you every little thing in paint. I think they're kind of expensive, but okay, this is the light it's a very bright light. I would like to consider this color an OEM color on steroids. It's a much deeper, darker black than the original Phantom Black. And you know, it's got still that nice gold flake in it. Let me just grab, just grab the light for I you again. People were crying on your channel because they thought I was gonna be too brown. That shit ain't brown at all. If anything, the stock is brown. And guess what? Mm -hmm. Do you like it? I love it. Okay, then everyone else can suck a Coda. Good lord. Good lord. Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of gold flake in it, but guess what? Gold flake is gold. You know, it's the best. Best flake there is. There is a probably a handful of things that I do need to fix in this paint job. Um, some runs that I have installed into this beautiful paint that we can easily take care of. Of course, there's a few pieces of dirt. I would say there's less dirt on this entire car than there would be if I sprayed one door handle at my shop. So overall, I'm pretty pleased with that. Absolute glass. It looks crazy under this light. It literally looks like the sparkles just go through my Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's very right blingy. No, I know, I saw. It's insane. I'm cur I'm curious to see it in the sun, and I hope you like it in the sun. I freaking like it, like, right now. We're gonna throw a couple parts on the car, some bumpers, and load her up in the enclosed trailer, transport her back to my shop. Shoutouts to Bob and American Way here in Spokane for spraying this car with me. It does look green. All right, y'all ready to see this thing in the sun for the first time? It's the next day. The car's all good to go. We are back at the glass shop to get the windshield and rear glass installed. I already saw some parts in the sun this morning and let me tell you boys, it is gold. It's very, very gold. It looks good. I love it. Bobby loves it more than I do. There's definitely a few trigger happy spots on the car, but nothing, but nothing a nice little stick sand can take care of. Where's a good sun spot for you guys?
Good lord, that is insane. All right, we got the glass back in. Let's do a little walk around to this thing. Try to get some good color shots in the sun. It's not super bright out right now, but we should be able to, oh, the, there we go. That is the color of the car, Java Black Pearl. As far as I know, it's probably the only Java Black Pearl Evo 10 in the world or Java Black Pearl Evo in general in the world. So that's kind of cool for Bobby, having a one of one paint Java on her Evo. Damn, it looks good. I know a lot of you guys were concerned about jams and not spraying the jams. Let's go ahead and pop open a door and see how jam looks. Yep, it's black. I could have done a little bit better of a masking job. I was doing the, the folded on itself tape method. I know you can use foam as well, which I think the foam would have turned out better for me because I'm kind of a noob. But a little bit of wet sanding and polishing right up on the jam right here and you're gonna be able to, and you'll never be able to tell unless you throw it under a sunlight that it's a different color. Damn, look at that scoop. Insane. You guys already know I am a perfectionist, so if I thought the jams did not look good, we'd probably be respraying the whole entire car again with the jams. But in my opinion, they look very, very good. You can't even tell they are a different color. One last shot of the color. Let me know what you think in the comment section below of the color we did on Bobby's Evo 10. It's been a very, very long process. I know I didn't film a whole lot of it. Here's all the other parts that we sprayed, both bumpers, the wing, all the skirt. So many hours went into this project and I'm excited to finally have it nearly complete. Of course, you still need reassembly a full wet sand and a full polish on the car, but at least the hard part's done, the full paint job is done, and uh, I cannot have asked for a better turnout. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the color. Peace out. I'll see you boys in the next video.